Hola chicos and chicas, que tal? Welcome to my channel, my name is Geralda and welcome to Spain Sunday. Spain Sunday is going to be like a temporary series on my channel where I upload stuff that I did from Spain or like my story time in Spain, yeah all that and it's going to be on Sundays. Spain Sunday. This video was part of a series that I already did. I already did part one and part two. Part one was like my uh, academic experience in UCPN and part two was like the, my ESN experience. This video is going to be part three, like all of the Spain essential that I bought, all the stuff that I bought that really helped me in Spain. So I'm going to show you guys right here. And also I have my laptop so I could just like uh, screen record and like show you like what I'm looking at and like all the websites. And by the way, all the websites, it's going to be linked down in the description. So please look at the description. It's so everything's there. All the information there is very helpful for you guys, okay? First off to start is transportation. How are you gonna get around Madrid? Like, what do you, like, how am I gonna get around? Am I gonna walk there? Am I gonna take a bus? So Madrid has metros, trains, and buses that you could take to get around the metropolitan area of Madrid. There's two types of car that I bought in Spain. So this one is the regular, regular, like, this is the regular metro card. It's, you just put tickets on there. There's like different lines and stuff like that. And all, each line is like, I think it's like different prices if I remember correctly. It's been a year. You have to pay for the card and the tickets is like separate. So you have to pay all that together. I forgot how much the card is. I think the card is like three euros. It has to be at least less than three euros. And then the ticket to put on here is like, I don't remember guys. I mean, it's not really, it wasn't, it wasn't really, really expensive. Each zone is different. I'll put a map of Madrid here. Like there's like different type of zones. There's like zone A, zone B, zone C, and like outer, outer zones. And also there's like lines. So if you're going to like the, from the middle of Madrid and trying to go to the inner. Okay, it's not. All the way to Preta del Sol, which is Metro South. And then you get off at Juan de la Sierva. So yeah, that was the Metro that I was living next to. Or yeah. So that's a regular card. Yeah, you have to pay for every single ticket. It's not unlimited, so you have to pay for every single ticket. However, if you're 25 and under, which I was 20 at the time when I went to Madrid, you qualify for the Tarjeta de Metro. It's a personalized card and it's such a great deal, guys. Like if you guys are 25 and under, you have to get this. You have unlimited trips on all the buses, all the metros and all the trains. And it's a personal card with a picture. I'll show you guys my picture. Um, let me cover my last name. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's my card. And yeah, Geralda and yeah, they take a picture of you. So it looks exactly the same as like the regular card, but this is a more personalized card. So the deal of this card, you have to be six euros for this card and to reload for the trips is 20 euros for 30 days. So basically 20 euros a month for any all unlimited for all zones of Madrid, which is such a great deal. So if you guys are under 20, I have under 26 here, so if you guys are under 26, um, you qualify for this card. However, in order to get this card, you have to book an appointment online. I'll link the link in the description. So in order to book this appointment to get the card, you have to go online. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. Um, you have to put in your phone number, your name, and I think also your address. You have to go to the oficina of the metro. Anywhere where it says central at the end of the name, like your tapa central. So okay, it's not telling me okay don't tell me the price but if i find the price i'll put it on the screen of course um but so you book an appointment you show up to the appointment you have to bring your passport or at least another ide identification card so i brought my new york state driver license and i also brought my my passport so just bring both just in case she asked me for like my passport and she took a picture of me and then quickly like my my card was created so I could still use this. I'm 21 right now. So when I go back to Madrid, I could still use this, reload this card, and um, I have access to all of Madrid basically, which is so good. So also I linked some videos uh, down in the description as well to like explain more. Cause when I did watch these videos at first, I was a little confused. I was like, huh? <laughs> like literally each zone is its own ticket. So yeah, it's a little confusing. I was able to go to El Escorial with this card, like no charge, no extra charge. And I was also able to go to Teloro with, with no charge. So if you're under 26, again, you have to get this card. It's such a great deal. A Torcha is the hub. So I think when it comes to a Torcha, it's like the main, like every, every train, every met, yeah, every train always goes through a Torcha. It's like the center, like every, everything is from a Torcha, if I believe so. I could be wrong. Okay, so when I first went to Madrid, the Madrid airport, I could have went from the airport all the way to my apartment by using the train in the metro. Airport is connected to all trains. It's La Linea 8, so line 8, and you could just have access to the, the metro. 
Um, so I could have done that. However, it was my first time in Madrid. I had suitcase with me. Well, actually, this is my suitcase right here. <laughs> that yellow way. Yeah, that's my suitcase right there uh, that I use in Madrid. Um, I don't. I don't know why it's here. I think my brother was about to use it. He's on a trip right now, but yeah, I think. But I don't know why it's here. But yeah. So yeah, when I first got to Madrid, yeah, I could have used like the uh, the metro or the train. And I, I heard, I've met someone that did that. Like they went, they only spent like eight dollars. And yeah, you could do that. Just that when I first got to Madrid, I just I had a I had two suitcases. I had a big book bag. I did not know where I was going because my first time in Madrid. So I booked an airport transfer instead. I know it's more expensive, but like I just it saved me a hassle. Like for real, it saved me such a hassle. Also, the metros they close at either 12 or 1 a.m. So I was able to go to Toledo. So I'll link a video when I went to Toledo, free with this uh, personalized card. So you have to go to Atorcha, either take the bus or the metro there. And then you have to go to Plaza and lick the guitar. I'll put it up here. And then you have to take the Alsa bus direct to Toledo. It will say direct to Toledo. And then your you're gonna your destination is at the Estación de Arte Bus de Toledo. So that's how you get to Toledo. Um, it shouldn't really take more than an hour and a half. I don't know. I actually don't know how uh, how long it took, but it was literally no more than like an hour and a half, honestly. So yeah, that's how you get to Toledo. And El Escorial, um, it was an ESN trip, so I didn't really pay attention. I was just pay more so paying attention to like the leaders of the ESN that guides us. So I know you have to go to a Torcha station, and one of the trains will say El Escorial. So when you got, got onto the train, it will say El Escorial, get onto the train, somebody is gonna check your card. So like, you know, when you sit down, like I think like 10 minutes in of sitting down, somebody's gonna come and check your card to see if it's valid for, you know, this trip. If it's not, I think you have to pay an extra 15 euros, which happened to my friend. He was 26, and so he didn't qualify for the personalized card, so you have to pay um, an extra 14 euros. So he was a little, little angry about that. But <laughs> and yeah, El Escorial, I think it took us like an hour to get there. Also, before I end this metro part, there's like little libraries in the metro. They're called Bibilo Metro. And yeah, there's like books you can like take out. I'm pretty sure you could also buy them. Um, right here, Bibilo Metro, Metro Library. So anywhere it has this symbol next to the station, next to um, any station, it has a Bibilo Metro. So yes, go there. I haven't been to any Bibilo Metro. I always wanted to go and then, you know, Corona happened. But yeah, yeah, you guys should go there and see how it is. Cause I haven't uh, went there yet. Okay, so that was the end of like my Metro section. I'll link a bunch of videos in the description. So again, look at the description. There's tons of information. Next. Okay, like I mentioned before, I took an airport transfer from the airport to my apartment. But what airport transfer did I take? I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. Right here, right now. Okay, this website, taxitoairport.com. Again, I'll link it below. Um, this was the cheapest I found it because when I was looking for airport transfers, all of them was like $80 and up. And that was like a little a little too pricey for me. So I was able to find this website and I paid $50 for like my airport transfer. I was able to go from the Madrid airport all the way to my apartment for 50 euros. So I, was, so I took my bags, I took, I took my suitcases. Uh, you walk outside where like people like hold signs of like your name. And so I walked, I walked and I see somebody with my name, with my first and last name. They helped me with my suitcase. Do I recommend an airport transfer? I do, cause like they help you with your suitcase. And plus my suitcase was really heavy. And it was just like much less of a hassle, like especially like when you're in a new place. I really highly recommend that you guys book an airport transfer. Like I know it's expensive, and I know the metro is much cheaper, but it's just it saves you such a headache, especially in a place that you ne guys never been before. I mean, unless you've been to Madrid, but I, I haven't been to Madrid ever before that. So I booked the airport transfer, and I also booked this uh, airport transfer uh, when I left Madrid. Which, but that airport transfer was really weird because they split my money the the money that has to pay the price i had to pay it's a cash and card so yeah cash and card which i don't know why but for my first airport transfer i was able to pay all my, all my card which is weird which is i that don't like that section second airport transfer okay how was i able to use my phone in madrid how i have at&t here in the states and it would have been literally $500 a month if I was in Madrid. So there was no way my parents were gonna pay that. So I had to get a SIM card. A SIM card is so much better, guys. I use sellyourabroad.com. There's like an international data SIM card, which that's the thing. I only use my um 
my SIM card for like data use. So I didn't really use the call or anything. Like I just used it for like data use. Like so like when I'm in public, I can use my map. I can use maps and I can use WhatsApp when, when I'm out and about using data. And I bought 24 gigabyte valid for one year. And so I paid $120 for that. And it comes with a UK number. So it's plus four four number. And I'm not able to call anybody unless I'm using website. So I'm not able to call anybody. However, people can call me. So that's a thing. I did have a little bit of trouble like when I in my days during Madrid. So there was like this one day where it was like it was like not activating for like a few minutes and then it activated. So it was like a little like, uh, why is this not working? You know, but yeah, I do recommend this since I used it. I was able to, you know, do my stuff, get my data. So yeah, uh, either choose the 12 gigabyte or the 24 gigabyte. I got the, of course, the 24, but 12 gigabyte, I, I could have used that, but like, I just want to be safe than sorry. So I got the 24 gigabyte. As long as it's like a year, as long as it's valid for a year, I'm assuming you guys are going to be there for like at least a semester or more. Oh, look, Vietnam. I didn't read that. You could use it all over Europe. However, there was other students that I met there that use other methods to use their phone. So a lot of the people I met used Orange and their SIM card and they paid like a monthly uh, bill for Orange for the SIM card and they were able to use that. Also, I heard other people use Vodafone. Also, I brought two phones with me when I went to Madrid. So I had like a main phone, which is my SIM card phone, my European phone. And I had like a, another phone just in case my main phone, something happened to my main phone and it got stolen, broken, or like something happened to it. At least I had like a backup phone. So I had my backup phone. So I do recommend bringing two phones. I know some people don't have like two phones like that. But if you have a second phone, bring it with you just in case something happens. You know, put it in your closet, your suitcase, just in case something happens to your main phone. At least you have a second phone to use. If you're coming from outside of Europe, you have to get a adapter, you know, this. So I bought two of these. I have a black one, I have a white one. I'm using the white one for something else in my room. So I bought two of these. So I do recommend buying two of these because I had two outlets in my apartment. So it comes with the other world outlets. This is for my white one um, upstairs, but yeah, it comes with this outlet. I think this is a, I don't know what this, I think it's a new, another Europe. This is a, yeah. Yeah, so it comes with this. I bought this on Amazon. I'll show you guys right here. It was $15. I bought two. I bought the white one and I bought the black one. Super useful. You have to get this. Of course, this is the United States one because I had United States plugs. But of course, you could buy uh, wherever you, know, you guys are from um, other ones. There's other ones available. Also, I bought like extra ones for like the bathroom. So I got this one. US to EU. Useful. And my mom gave me this one. So the more, honestly, the, the more the merrier, just in case. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Amazon. Amazon's like so convenient. Also, when I was in my apartment, I had a laundry hamper. I got, I, I'm still using this one also. It's, it's also in my room. It's super useful. I put my dirty clothes in it. It's collapsible. So I, put, I was able to collapse it and put in my suitcase back there and able to travel with it. Literally, it's like, the thinness of this it's very easy to travel and yet yeah, it's double so i was able to put like separate you know my undergarments and like my heavy set clothes separately what i use to walk around my apartment because i when i walk around like my apartment or like my house i don't walk around with bare feet i i walk around with like slides so i do recommend slides i didn't pay this much 37 dollars. i did not pay that much i paid it like 10 dollars at the time Ooh, why, why did it raise the prices? I do recommend having slides with you for your apartment so you can just walk around with your, with your apartment to not get your feet dirty. And also, it's so important for Europe. It's not only Spain essential, but it's also Europe essential. You have to get like your reusable bags. It's like, cause you have to pay, I don't know if you have to pay extra for plastic bags or it's like they don't have plastic bags, but yeah, you have to use reusable bags. It's so convenient. I have this, it's very compact. I have five, I have four bags in here. I'll just open it for you. One, two, three, four. My mom has the fifth one. I gave her the fifth one. And yeah, so you, is this is compact. You open it like this. And yeah, you have a whole grocery bag. So yeah, you have to use this in, uh, in Europe. So yeah, it was able to do the job. I was able to buy a lot of stuff from the supermarket and put it into here with no problem. It didn't break on me, it didn't rip on me. So yes, I will link, I will link this down in the description as well. Uh, this is for <laughs> this is for girls and women out there 
who don't want to sit down when you're, you know, using the public bathroom. I bought this as well. And also my umbrella. This one I paid $20 for at the time. This at low price but i paid 20 dollars for this yes yeah, expensive but like it was so worth it like honestly guys when i pay like a lot of money for something that i could have bought cheaper i'm paying it for convenience for like the the usability for it i like this one because like it closes in a way where the water is on the outside the water is on the inside yeah to all the black girls or black guys watching this for like, your hair care there are black there is a black population in spain therefore there are black beauty shops with black products in spain that can take care of your hair you know moisturize shampoo and yeah so you just have to like sure search it up there's black beauty supplies there in spain okay i moved the camera closer okay so the apps that i used that really helped me while i was in madrid for navigation like maps and like where to go and stuff like that i use city mapper it's pretty much yeah it's a regular map but I like it because it's really like, it's really precise. I really like it. I also like to use the Apple, regular Apple map. I just that I really don't like Google Maps. You have to use WhatsApp. WhatsApp is what everybody's using. It's so convenient. It's so efficient. It's so necessary. You have to download WhatsApp, okay? You have to use it. There's a little traveler which my city bot office, office forced us to download and like, you know, uh, use because like, it, it, it alerts like, you know, serious stuff. So it always alerts me like, Oh, hey, there's like a little protest in Madrid. Please be aware. Please be careful. Stay away from that area. Oh, hey, there's a protest in Barcelona. Stay stay away from there if you're gonna go during these dates. You know, like stuff like that. If you guys need to buy something but it's not available in Spain or in Europe in general, I suggest that you guys buy it in bulk and take it with you into Spain or to Europe because like. It's just, it's just more convenient. I know it's like inconvenient because it's taking up suitcase spaces. So yeah, I, there's some stuff that I bought in bulk and I, I just brought it with me in Spain just to like save me the hassle, like just in case I don't find it in Spain. So there, my lip balm I use, it wasn't available in Europe, I checked. It wasn't available in Europe. My feminine products, so like my pads, my tampons, there's certain feminine products that I like to use, but it's only in, in the United States. So I bought in bulk and I brought it with me to, the, to uh, Europe. It's, even though like it will take us UK spaces, it's just that it'll save you like a hassle if you don't find it in Europe at all. So yes, so thank you for watching my Spain Essential videos. I hope this is helpful for you guys. And please, again, please look at the description. There's so much information. You have to look at it, okay? You d don't go away from this video without looking at the description, okay? I hope you guys enjoy these videos and also watch my past part one and part two video. And also watch my upcoming part four video. So yeah.